The year 2019 is only halfway and it has been marred by controversies, bizarre and shocking incidents that has baffled many, starting with the gruesome murder of university students, skyrocketing unemployment, ballooning debts, numerous cases of injustice and the dragon called corruption. Recently, the head of state went to China accompanied by former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to borrow 368 billion Kenyan shillings to complete the construction of the standard gauge railway from Naivasha to Kisumu. But before then, Kenyan was having a ballooning debt to many nations. The web of shame is as enumerated. Kenyans owe the Chinese government 634.4 billion, Belgium 5 billion, France 62.6 billion, Japan 104.7 billion, Germany 35 billion, and Netherlands 4 billion, amounting to a staggering figure of 5 trillion, which is even more than the Kenyan budget. And before Kenyans digested this, There was no drugs nationwide. Why? Because the county government were having a ballooning debt of 3.2 billion to the Kenyan medical supplies agency KEMSA, despite setting 747 million Kenyan shillings aside for the health sector in the current financial year and of the money, 70 million had been used to offset the debt before Kenyans blinked, the 16-year-old age consent came in implying that individuals to be having identification cards at the age of 16 on grounds that at the age of 16 individuals are aware of what they are doing and this elicited mixed reactions and recently supreme court judge lady justice njoki ndungu had her say on this and i quote let us protect our children 16 year olds are not enough to have sex and anyone who has sex with a child is a criminal treat such people as criminals the law says a child is any person aged below 18 you cannot say one is a child when it comes to not voting not driving not footing hospitals bill but when it comes to sex one is treated as an adult hiyo akina mama musikubali end of quote the economy is growing and booming on paper, but where are the jobs? Corruption have been sanctioned. Amid the widening crackdown, which is spearheaded by the head of state, which has only seen former sports CS Richard Chesa on the receiving end, it will never erase Kenyans mind that the nation was denied the rights to host Chan due to dilapidated stadiums, and the government promised five new stadiums until date the promise remains unkept and with kenyan problems well known starting from the tales of corruption to insert insert greed then the dream remains shattered the investigative departments promised to tell us who killed jacob juma chris msando sharon the former rongo university student till date not even a single hint not even a single clue not even a single stone has been turned in relation to the gruesome murder of the individuals prominent leaders who should be helping us slay this dragon called corruption they are the ones who are elevating it to the highest level there is no unity in kenya instead the idea of one man for himself god for us all is what guides us and now kenya got hospitalized and she is lying on her deathbed kenyans keeps capitulating and deteriorating as seconds minutes hours and days goes by and the big question is when will the nation reign forward?